The world of personal computing stands on the brink of its most significant shift in decades, and the whispers about what comes next have finally turned into a roar that no enthusiast can ignore. For years, the operating system that powers billions of machines has remained largely familiar, sticking to a design language we all know by heart. But reports now indicate that Microsoft is ready to break that mold entirely with the next major evolution of Windows. While the company has not yet officially released this new version to the public, the leaks, prototypes, and insider information paint a vivid picture of a future that looks, feels, and acts very different from the computer you are using today. The first thing you will likely notice about this expected update is the visual transformation. For over 30 years, the taskbar has been anchored to the bottom of the screen, acting as a solid shelf for your open programs. Evidence suggests this is about to change. The new interface is expected to feature a floating taskbar. Instead of a gray bar that stretches from the left edge to the right edge, imagine a smaller rounded island of icons that hovers just above the bottom of the display. It looks less like a traditional tool and more like a dock you might see on a mobile device or a competing operating system. This change is not just about style. It is designed to separate the user interface from the screen borders, making the experience feel lighter and more fluid. This visual shakeup likely extends to the top of the screen as well. In current versions of Windows, your clock, battery life, and Wi-Fi signals are tucked away in the bottom corner. The new design is expected to move these vital details to a top bar that runs across the upper edge of your monitor. This would leave the bottom area strictly for your apps, creating a cleaner, less cluttered workspace. It is a layout that mimics the smartphones we use every day, suggesting that Microsoft wants to make moving between your phone and your computer feel completely natural. But the cosmetic changes are merely the surface. The real revolution is happening inside the machine, driven by artificial intelligence. You may have seen AI assistants before, but they often feel like separate programs you have to open and talk to. The next version of Windows is expected to weave this intelligence directly into the fabric of the system. It will likely not be an app you click on. It will be a layer that sits underneath everything you do. Imagine you are looking at a messy desktop full of files. In the past, you had to sort them yourself. The new system is expected to understand what those files are just by looking at them. It could automatically group your photos, work documents, and receipts into neat piles without you lifting a finger. If you are writing an email to a boss, the system might offer to change your tone to be more professional, not because you asked a chatbot, but because the text box itself is smart enough to help. This concept is called context awareness. The computer will no longer just wait for your commands. It will try to predict what you need based on what is on your screen. To make this level of intelligence possible, the hardware requirements for computers are expected to rise significantly. This is perhaps the most controversial aspect of the upcoming changes. Traditional computer processors are good at math and logic, but they are not efficient at the heavy thinking required for artificial intelligence. Therefore, it is widely believed that the full experience of the new Windows will require a special piece of hardware called a Neural Processing Unit, or NPU. This chip is built specifically to handle AI tasks. If your current computer is more than a few years old, it likely does not have this chip. This means that when the new operating system arrives, many existing machines might not be able to use the advanced features, or they might not be able to upgrade at all. We saw a similar situation when Windows 11 required specific security chips, leaving perfectly good computers behind. It appears this history is about to repeat itself, but this time, the reason is the demand for smart processing power. The industry is moving toward a standard where a computer is not considered modern unless it can think for itself, locally, without always sending data to the internet. This brings us to another major expected shift, the architecture of the system itself. For decades, Windows has been built in a way where the system files and the user's data are somewhat mixed together. This is why installing updates can take so long, and why one bad program can sometimes crash the whole machine. The new version is rumored to introduce a design called Core PC. Think of this as separating the house from the furniture. In this new design, the operating system lives in a locked, read-only section of the drive. This means viruses and accidental user errors 
cannot easily touch the core files that make the computer run. It also means that updates could happen in the background, almost instantly, because the system just swaps out the locked section for a new one without disturbing your personal files. This is how mobile phones handle updates, and bringing this technology to the desktop would be a massive improvement in stability and security. It would make the computer harder to break and much faster to fix if something does go wrong. Gaming is another area where we expect to see substantial improvements. The integration of AI isn't just for work. It can also be used to make games run smoother. There are rumors of a feature that uses the NPU to upscale graphics in real time. This means your computer could draw a game at a lower resolution, which is easier for the hardware, and then use AI to make it look sharp and high definition instantly. This technology exists in some expensive graphics cards today, but building it directly into the operating system would make it available to everyone with a compatible chip. It could allow thinner, lighter laptops to play heavy games without overheating. The focus on hybrid computing is another key pillar of this expected release. Microsoft has been building massive cloud servers for years, and the new Windows is likely designed to bridge the gap between your local PC and that cloud power. If you are doing a task that is too heavy for your computer, like editing a massive video file, the operating system might seamlessly offload that work to the cloud and send the finished result back to you. You might not even notice it happening. This concept blurs the line between owning a powerful computer and simply renting power from the internet. It suggests a future where your physical device matters less than your internet connection. When this software finally lands on devices, it will challenge us to learn new habits. We will have to get used to looking at the top of the screen for the time. We will have to learn to trust the system to sort our files. We will have to accept that our old laptops might need to be replaced to join this new world. It is a heavy cost, but the promise is a machine that feels less like a complex engine and more like a helpful partner. The future of Windows is not just about opening windows anymore. It is about the view through them becoming clearer, faster, and smarter than we ever imagined. This transition will not happen overnight. It is expected that the rollout will be gradual, with early adopters testing the waters before businesses and schools make the switch. But the writing is on the wall. The operating system that defined the digital age is shedding its skin. Whether you are an enthusiast eager for the latest tech or a casual user just wanting to check email, the changes coming are going to reshape your digital life. The floating taskbar is just the first sign that the ground beneath our digital feet is moving, carrying us toward a future where the computer knows what you want to do before you even click the mouse.